Hello and welcome to Witchy Woo Tarot. This reading is for the general collective of Libra and will not be for everyone watching. So if the message resonates with you, please let me know in the comments. And if not, please check your moon, rising, and Venus signs for other messages you need to hear. And remember, time, energy, and gender are fluid. Feel free to reverse roles however you see fit. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So thank you so much to my new and returning subscribers. You guys are freaking amazing. If you haven't already heard, please be sure to check the description box below and follow me on Instagram and Facebook for details on how to enter into my Halloween giveaway with Messy Awakening. So I will be having two giveaways again this month as my usual monthly giveaway where I select three winners. And since Halloween is my favorite, I'm going to draw a fourth winner to win all the spooky stuff that I have listed on my social media. So if you don't have social media, it's okay. If you've subscribed to my channel, you are already entered to win. But if you would like to earn more entries, you can follow me on social and uh, tag all your friends because the more people you tag, the more entries you receive. So. Libra for Scorpio season I thought it would be really appropriate to do a deep dive and see how your person is feeling about you so of course that would be whichever person pops into your head when you think of love and romance um, you know could be one person could be multiple people it just depends on your story no judgments it could also resonate for cross watchers so if it is your story that's amazing and if not do not force it to fit okay so I will first be using the Santa Muerte tarot and then I will be using the tarot of sexual magic mini to clarify so if you are not into you know the raunchy stuff where people are doing it on top of baskets of fruit and shit out in the woods then you should probably click off this video before your little ears and eyes are compromised okay so libra let's see how this person is thinking and feeling about you um and dig deep okay what is this person thinking and feeling about libra what is this person thinking and feeling about Libra? So we have the High Priestess and we have the Ace of Wands. Wow, beautiful. So let's see what this person is doing as far as viewing the connection. How are they seeing you? How are they viewing you um, when they think of this connection? All my cards are like, discombobulated right now all right Libra how are they viewing you how is this person viewing you we have the fool and we have the page of wands beautiful so what is this person's intentions towards you Libra how do they intend to move this forward how do they intend to act Wow, okay, so check this out, guys. We have the Seven of Wands, which, you know, I might have to, um, I might have to slide this down to the next row, actually, because I don't think there's gonna be enough room. So we have the Seven of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Lovers, and the nine of pentacles very interesting these are their intentions so what is their desired outcome for the sign of libra what is this person's desired outcome towards this connection what is this person's desired outcome with libra Five of Wands. Anything else for desired outcome? And the Two of Pentacles. Wow, so. So very interesting. And so Libra, if you are connecting with a Virgo, there are a lot of repeating cards and themes in this reading that there were in their reading as well, okay? Um, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for Libra. We have the Emperor. So Libra, um, you perhaps met your divine masculine counterpart um, and this person is realizing that 
that that's who they are to you okay this person is waking up to the fact of their true power um, the fact that they are the one that is the authority the control and I have a strong feeling that this person has already or is in the process of taking control of their life and standing up in their true divine masculine energy okay so I feel like this person is operating from their higher self at this point okay um, this is also Aries energy so you could be connecting with an Aries um, so let's take a look at how they're thinking and feeling about you Libra we have the high priestess and the ace of wands so it looks to me like this person is aware of your divine feminine power okay so much like the Empress you have the ability uh, the inner knowing the spiritualism this is more to me like raw feminine power though okay this is not um this is not someone who puts on a show this is someone who operates from their higher self someone who trusts their inner knowing um, who listens to their guides and and searches for the wisdom within this person has the key to the spiritual knowledge okay that's how they're thinking about you they're thinking that you are this divine high priestess energy and it turns them on like it turns them way on libra the ace of wands is <laughs> it's the dick card okay this is the card of arousal this is someone who wants to be with you physically someone who is truly just turned on by you they're passionate about you they want a brand new beginning um, where they can truly express the passion they feel for you inside okay they feel very passionate about you so libra we all know you guys i mean i'm a libra myself we have the ability to um we have the ability to bring that out in people um we tend to kind of show them the possibility and so you know a lot of libras act as mirrors to other people um, to show them you know the truth right and so you know you're your person is starting to see the true you okay and they're really turned on by it um because like i said the high priestess is raw feminine power okay raw feminine power divine wisdom they see you perhaps um as as like just very connected in the spiritual world and so their intentions you know or how they're viewing you excuse me how they're viewing you as the fool and the page of wands so you know you could be they could think of you as foolish in a sense but i don't think of it as like a bad thing okay because we're following up with more wands energy more passion um so it's kind of like they're seeing you as someone who's willing to take a risk someone who's going to follow their passion and their dream and who's going to to allow themselves to to be free okay to trust in the universe to know that whatever path they're on that it's going to take them and lead them to prosperity okay this is a promise this is hope they see you as someone who is naive but hopeful and you know with the page of wands as you can see this person is sitting here with the letter they're viewing you as someone who is is passionate someone who isn't afraid to communicate but as you can see from this energy this is more of this is more of the drive within okay this this is like action that's waiting to be taken they see you as kind of just sitting there waiting for them i feel like to take action so that they can communicate um, or so that you can communicate with them all right because as they're seeing you as this passionate energy um, they know that you have things to say perhaps and they kind of almost are aware that you're ready to start a new chapter with or without them so um wow it just got really hot in here you guys I am too young to be menopausal, okay? I just felt like a really hot um, air just like flow past me. So with the Seven of Wands as their intentions, I really do feel like this person is going to get ready. They're in warrior's pose right now. And they're preparing to stand up for this connection um, this is about doing what's right it's about um, being defensive defending um, something that they're passionate about 
And so this is their energy. They're they're ready to defend this. Okay, they're they're ready to defend it. And the reason why is because we have the six of cups and the lovers. This person is fully aware um, that this is divine. That this is a connection that was sent to them by by spirit by the universe. This was no accident. And again, we have the key and and floating in the air. Okay. Um. So let's talk about the Six of Cups first. Six of Cups is a past life connection. This is soulmate energy. Um, so this is memories of the past. This is also kind of reminds me a little bit of the Four of Wands. We have two stalks here, two stalks here. It's like there was the potential for this to grow and perhaps this person is starting to um, realize how closely connected you are by spirit, by soul connection and they're reflecting back on the past, okay? And the way that things went. And when they think of you, and when they reflect on the past they know and they see you as that genuine kindness that person that was always there for them that supported them that loved them they're aware of that okay and so let's talk about this image right here it's like we have this feminine character holding the key, the lock right she's holding the heart and the lock and she's looking at it it's almost like she's trying to show him like hey this is my heart and I've got this for you and he's focusing on the key right and so what this tells me is this person is is currently making a decision they're it's like they're figuring things out um, because this is not just divine union it's not just a spiritual connection it's not just lovers it's a choice okay and I think what's happening Happening right now is this person is actively choosing you they're actively choosing this connection because they see it for what it really is now okay it's like this person has awakened and they're starting to understand what it's all about why you guys are connected um, and it's you know it's making them want to it's making them want to be in this energy okay their intentions are to gain stability on their own all right, and so, you know, perhaps this person um, has freed themselves from some sort of some sort of previous situation, whether that be, you know, a relationship, um, a family situation where they felt perhaps that they had to depend on others or maybe others depended on them for some reason. And so it kind of kept them in that codependency. But I'm seeing that their intentions are to move forward um, and be stable on their own. Um, this is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. And so this is someone who is like pre-empress mode, someone who is capable of making money, who's capable of manifesting happiness in their life. Life and being satisfied by themselves okay so I think this person's on a journey and like I said they're actively choosing you now because they see you actively choosing yourself okay so more like mirroring energy here this person sees you um, being willing to take these risks being willing to move forward and follow your passion follow your soul purpose and like i said that's turning them on it's making them strong it's making them step up into this emperor energy all right and so now it's like they know they understand the choice that they have to make they have to choose themselves they have to stop relying on others they have to stop letting others rely on them and they need to gain stability for themselves okay so in their desired outcome we have the five of wands so this is kind of the energy and I did mention this in the Virgo reading also um, this is the energy of someone preparing to burn it all down right and so the five of wands is conflict it's stress it's struggle it's competition and so you know with the two of Pentacles coming up here again this speaks of working on stability gaining balance making changes in the physical it's also very intimate. As you can see, these two skulls are wrapped in each other's embrace by a blanket and they are once again mirroring one another, okay? It's like they see that they need to make the changes in their life and they, they're planning on doing so. And so whatever it is that they need to burn down or shed, whatever stress or competition that they're feeling, I feel like they're planning to conquer that, okay? So maybe this could be them preparing to fight off the competition as far as you know coming forward to you um, they see you as this vibrant person they understand that you potentially that they could lose you perhaps they're aware that they that you could potentially go off in a new direction without them um, but 
it's kind of like <clears throat> they need to make these changes first. They need to settle these debts. They need to deal with whatever this conflict is in their life in order to make those tangible changes, in order to get to that point where you can finally um, embrace, okay? And so I love how in this image, like I said, again, this is very intimate compared to the usual balancing or juggling aspect that you see in the traditional tarot. Okay. As you can see, this character is handing this one, the two pentacles. Okay. It's almost like, um, once they're able to deal with these things, once they're able to snuff out the competition um, and come forward, they plan on they plan on making this real. They plan on showing you perhaps um, some sort of token of affection towards you and proving to you that they the changes that they've made um, were because of the fire that you planted within them, okay? So let's get some clarity from the Tarot of Sexual Magic and see what's going on in their thoughts and feelings. Wow, so we have the King of Cups. Okay, so as I mentioned, King of Cups has been coming out a lot too in these readings. King of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, so this person could have that in their chart. Um, you know, this is the king who, this is the king who loves deeper than, than the ocean itself, but they're also wise enough to understand that they can't just give their love away to anyone, right? And so I think that, you know, as a part of you kind of waking this person up, they're starting to see how deeply they actually care for you. They're starting to understand the depth of their emotion in general. And and I think that they're, they're like I said, they're seeing what it really is now. They're seeing that the true opportunity, the true, um, you know, cup, is the opportunity that they had with you okay and so now it's like in their thoughts and feelings they're starting to evolve into this person who is very emotional and you know perhaps the way that you turn them on perhaps the way that you affect them is making them feel deep emotions for you okay and as you can see this is not one of the you know sh her titties are out right but it's not one of the more raunchy um <laughs> images in this deck this king is tender he's caressing her hair he values her he understands her he cherishes her okay and so like i said he sees this person he she they see your raw power not only are they aroused but they they're having these emotions stirred within them okay um so i keep just hearing like you woke this person up you woke them up now they're standing in their true power okay and they're planning to kind of manifest um this decision all right they're trying to manifest the decision that they've already made the choice that they that they're making okay it's because of you libra all right so let's get some clarity on their intentions i love when the cards fall out before i ask it's like spirits kind of rushing me like get along with it woman so we have the six of cups again as clarity for the six of cups and the lovers so just to clarify this person intends to um it's like they intend to make the past right they intend to communicate the fact that they know how connected you are spiritually um, as you can see we have the two white doves here which symbolize um soulmate twin flame energy um, and we have this person like reminiscing on the past and kind of seeing the potential of how things could be as you can see the letter is in her lap she's waiting to kind of to say her piece to to share her emotions and so you know just to reiterate the six of cups clarifying all of this again they're woke they understand the depth of this connection they understand how spiritually connected you are okay with the nine of swords coming up though i think that um you know for them perhaps <laughs> this could be so challenging right um imagine like not being able to be with someone and you know being up all night thinking about it stressing over it um worrying over it this is fear-based energy and so perhaps they're kind of stuck in their mind having nightmares about how to move forward because maybe they've never been stable without anyone before maybe being independent is something that's new to them and you know this wasn't a very easy choice for this person and so they could be working an extra job they could be working extra hard staying up late at night trying to you know do things get ready prepare um 
maybe, like I said, just figure out like how they're going to come forward, what they're going to say, and they're just stressing about it, right? Um, but since this is clarifying their intentions, I think that they plan to get out of that energy, like I said, and deal with anything that's conflicting to them, any type of um, stressful energy or pushback or res you know resistance that they're feeling regarding this connection. They're planning to make those changes regardless, no matter how tough it might be, okay? So, um, you know, again, too, this is also the energy of someone who overthinks and overanalyzes. So if this person is making a choice to move in your direction, understand that they've thought about it forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. OK, um, they've went over it in their mind a thousand times. And when they think of you, it's like they still want to ravage you. OK, perhaps maybe they've spent a lot of time trying to forget your connection but it's one of those things that you know you try to forget and you can't forget you try to move on you can't move on you think you've moved on you haven't moved on so when you're connected with someone on that soul level it's it's like yeah you have free will but on most levels you're you're always going to keep coming back to that connection you're always going to keep getting pulled back to to that connection because it's destined to happen okay and that's kind of what the lovers insinuate so let's get some clarity on their um their desired outcome libra this reading is spicy what did i say i knew these readings were going to get spicy i just knew it so wow oh my gosh so i just had deja vu because you know remember i said in this card it looks like the four of wands to me it has the two stalks coming out but like almost like they're not fully grown yet they're not fully manifested and so kind of like the kind of hinting towards like a missed opportunity or like something that didn't truly get off the ground we now have the four of wands again, clarifying their desired outcome, okay? So, you know, I'm not gonna lie, this looks like a lot of fun to me. So, you know, this is stability, yes, it is marriage, yes, it is um, union. And so this person really wants to take this passion and manifest it into the physical, okay? They're wanting union. Okay, they're wanting to, um, they're wanting this image right here. They think about it a lot. They're very passionate about you and they're wanting to manifest it into the physical now. Okay, that's why they're making the changes that they're making because they're fully aware of who you are to them. Okay, they're fully aware of the fact that this union is imminent between the two of you. So, with the six of swords coming up after that as you can see you know more ravaging lots of out in the woods naked scenes for you guys libra it's like this person wants to take control of their life and move away from anything that no longer serves them um, perhaps you know communication issues in the past not understanding um, their partner uh, people not understanding them moving towards something that is mutual some going somewhere specific that's going to heal them and that's going to make them whole and i feel like that's the energy that you give them libra i feel like they can't wait to be intimate with you they can't wait to start this new journey with you okay so very beautiful energy for this reading let's see what's on the bottom of the deck to clarify we have the wheel so the wheel of fortune is it's a new cycle it's destiny okay so going along with the emperor to clarify for the general energy this person is awakening to their destiny to their true path to where it is that they're supposed to be and they see now that that person is you okay the wheel of fortune could uh, could signify also the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one as we know you can't always be on the top of the wheel sometimes you're on the bottom and so this person could just be struggling with the cycles right now um, but like i said understanding that this is their destined path that everything that they're going through is for this reason so that they can fulfill their destiny and be with you and manifest this connection okay so libra let's get some energy from the energy oracle and see what challenge is present Okay, let's see what energy is present for Libra. 
So, don't be messing up my cards. Do not be messing up my cards. You know I do not like that. Here we go. All right, so we have Storm Warning, and we have two cards. Storm Warning, Man Holding a Coin, and Indecision. So let's talk about this Libra, because I think the challenge currently is, you know, perhaps tower moments that are occurring for this person, um, shocking things, realizations, um, struggle, perhaps separation. Like I said earlier, this person could be separating from another person, from a job, from a stable situation that they thought was stable, right? Because that's what the tower is about. So again, struggle, stress, they could be dealing with these tower moments, the, the storm, but as we know, storms don't last forever okay and so right now I think what this person is struggling to do is um, is be that stable energy right they're they're struggling to emulate the energy that you deserve someone stable someone willing to come forward and offer up commitment okay so you know As we know, stability and abundance isn't something to be had. It's something that is. It's a mindset. It's a mentality. And so as this person awakens spiritually, they will understand that. They will start to realize, um, you know, that, that abundance has always been theirs um, because they're capable of anything, right? And so with indecision popping up, this reminds me of the Two of Swords, um, you know, this person could be very indecisive. They could be struggling with which way to go as far as like, you know, how to move forward, how to make this real, how to bring it into to reality. So they could be kind of mulling over in their mind different ways that they can approach you, different ways to communicate with you. And so, you know, as we know with the Nine of Swords energy, this is all, you know, fear-based. It's all within your mind. It's almost like the inability to make a decision um, because you're kind of jinxing yourself. You're thinking about it so much that you end up delaying and, and causing setbacks on your own because of a self fulfilling prophecy so this person could just be struggling right now in general um, but like I said their intentions and their desired outcome um, to me I feel like these struggles are like I said the storm's not gonna last forever and this person's gonna come out at the end they're going to have that stability and they will finally make that offer okay um, so let's go ahead and dig into the eternal messages and see what this person has to say Libra this reading is juicy I kind of want to claim this reading. So <clears throat> let's see what this person has to say via eternal messages. We did have one just kind of fly out. So I'm going to take that one because I feel like it's supposed to be said. And let's see what else we have. Let's see what other messages we have from this person, Libra. One more. There we go. And it's on the floor. It's actually two more. Let me find out you're going to get a bonus, Libra. Okay, so we have, let's see, let me just get them all in order. Not like I feel like there is any order. I just kind of want them all face up, you know. So let's dig in, Lieb. <clears throat> I have a lot of gratitude for you. I mean, yeah, like I said, you're kind of the beacon of light that's shining this person home on their own spiritual journey. You've waken, you're, you've woken this person up, woke this person up, however you say it. I'm, I'm bad at this. So, <laughs> so anyways, they're thankful to you. They, they understand, you know, that everything that's happened um, because of you is actually what's made them have this, this awakening that's made them step up in their own power, okay? So because of you, they were able to, to step up and, and make these decisions and move forward, okay? I've thought about taking a trip with you. So this person, obviously, like I said, they're turned on by you. They're aroused by you. They want to be with you. They're probably fantasizing all day about taking trips, being with you, doing things that they love to do, but doing them with you. Um, it was you. It was always you. So, you know... I mean, you saw it here first, Libra. It was always you, okay? Um, 
I, like I said, I don't really feel like this person um, is attached to anyone at this point. I think maybe they were. And I think, like I said, they're starting to see that what really turns them on is someone like you, someone who is wise, someone who is passionate, who's real and raw. Um, I've been sending you messages in 5D. So this person's reaching out, okay? They're trying to connect with you energetically. Um, they're trying to send you messages and signs, perhaps, songs, perhaps. Um, I do want to make things right with you. Give me that opportunity. So, you know, like I said, they're already actively choosing you. You might not see that. Um, they are taking the steps towards you. They are trying to deal with this conflict in their lives. Um, and, and they do want to make things right, okay? I do pray about us. So this person could be kind of religious. They could be praying for you. They could be talking to their guides, their, their angels, their ancestors, um, you know, just kind of like before they lay their head down at night, just thinking about you and praying that you're okay and, and praying for union, right? I've thought about you spending time with my family and me. So this person is placing you in their family pictures. They are imagining having a family, um, having a life with you, um, you know, inviting you maybe on a trip with their family, doing things with their family. And so, you know, if this person is manifesting, if this person is visualizing those things um, and they're reaching out to you energetically, that's, that's really important, all right? That's the first step is visualizing, is praying for it, um, is thinking about it and, and acknowledging and, and being grateful, having gratitude. Gratitude is like the number one missed step when it comes to manifestation. People always forget to be grateful for what it is that they're trying to call in. Um, but once you're thankful for something that you haven't received, you make that timeline available. You open that opportunity to receive. Um, and so let's go ahead and get some musical messages from this person and see what song they would like to dedicate to you, Libra. And then we will close the reading. Okay, do we have any other songs? Okay, 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 that's enough. <laughs> Let's just read through the whole deck, Libra. <clears throat> okay, so we have always something there to remind me, which is a song that came out in the Twin Flame reading um, last week. Um, actually, it was kind of the title of the whole reading was always something there to remind me. So let's start off with that and then we will move forward and see what else there is. I'm not even going to look at them yet because I kind of want to be surprised. And no, I'm not going to cry. Okay. So, and I will never be free. You'll always be a part of me. So again, going back to the six of cups two times, this person knows they're aware that they are connected with you spiritually. They will never be free of you because you're a part of them. You are them. Okay. I'm just going to kind of lay them across the bottom. How do you talk to an angel? Libra, you are an angel. That was the whole theme of Libra season was angels. Um, heaven and earth are moving in my soul. I don't know where to start. Tell me, tell me the words to define the way I feel about someone so fine. How do you talk to an angel? How do you hold her close to where you are, the heights? So this person sees you as the angel in their life. They, they just perhaps don't know how to talk to you. That's been a common theme in these readings as well. Um, inability to express one's emotions, struggling to be real and honest um, and open up that conversation, okay? And that's probably going to be... <clears throat> probably going to be because of, you know, Mars retrograde, Mercury retrograde, lots of conflicting energy, perhaps really wanting to reach out to someone and not knowing how, um, like misplaced direction is kind of what I'm, what I'm feeling. Okay. <clears throat> so make you feel my love. I know you haven't made your mind up yet, but I would never do you wrong. I've known it from the moment that we met, no doubt in my mind where you belong, Adele. So you know, as far as making up your mind, Libra, I think at this point, like I said, you're kind of at, on the verge of taking an, a leap of faith in another direction, um, kind of getting ready to kind of go off on your own and fulfill your own soul mission with or without this person. And so, you know, I think maybe lack of communication from them could be the issue and why they're feeling like... Um, 
like you would need to even make up your mind about them like they need to convince you that they would never hurt you okay and so we have as the world falls down there's such a fooled heart beating so fast in search of new dreams a love that will last within your heart i've placed the moon within your heart david bowie so you know this person idolizes you they are mesmerized by you they they hold you to the same caliber as the moon which i think is is really incredible considering you know the high priestess coming up okay they see you as that raw power connected to the universe connected to spirituality and so there's also kind of an element here of you know in the movie the labyrinth if you haven't seen it just go ahead and fast forward like maybe 15 seconds so i don't ruin it for you but this is the scene where you know david bowie the goblin king simulates this entire um this entire illusion of a masquerade ball just so that he could spend time with his true love okay and so you know as she runs through this ballroom she ends up finally you know uniting with him and they share this intimate dance but the whole song is about his ability to let her go because you know it doesn't matter where she goes she's always going to be the love of his life okay he's always going to be in love with her losing my religion every whisper of every waking hour i'm choosing my confessions trying to keep an eye on you like a hurt lost and blinded fool so this person is deconstructing perhaps what they knew um and like i said rebuilding as their new higher self okay um as I said, with the I do pray about us card, you know, this person could be very, uh, very religious or raised religious where prayer is very important to them. Um, but, you know, meeting you and seeing your raw power and seeing how you are Libra, how you basically believe in everything. You are justice, you are fairness, you are equality. And so, <clears throat> you know, you're making them see things in a new light. So perhaps losing my religion could be symbolic of this person you know understanding like the need to confess understanding that that without you that who gives a shit about religion right um they're hurt without you they're lost without you they're blind without you and so they're kind of forced to see things differently now um, and i think like i said with their intentions and their desired outcome they are actively going to be choosing you and making these changes because union is is what they want okay union is what they want so very beautiful reading libra i hope that this resonates for someone anyone out there um, if so leave me a comment if you would like a personal reading where we can dig into your connection please feel free to check out my website in the description box below other than that i hope you have a beautiful rest of scorpio season i love you and i will see you soon bye